as good as it gets in National League speed race. Hello everybody, welcome to another Virtual Skid, Virtual Skid 3, sponsored by Bowen Pies. And tonight's match is the Warriors against the Eastbourne Eagles. Goodness me. And representing the Eagles tonight uh, with Andy Hague's computery wizardry, we should have Grant Packham coming up right now. Hey Grant, how you doing mate? Oh my goodness. There's a super fan there. How you doing? You alright? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear, mate. Excellent. Brilliant. Well, welcome to Virtual Skid. Thank um, you. I hope that you've watched some before. I think that you have anyway. Yeah. So you're going to know the rules, but we'll brief you again anyway. And yeah. tonight you're representing Eastbourne. And I'm about to bring in the opposition for you now. And if Andy Haig does his computer wizardry, I would like to welcome Brendan Johnson. Oh, no way. <laughs> Brendan Johnson. How are you hey. doing, my man? Hey! <laughs> Hello, is that you? Hey, Barry. Barry. How you doing? You are right? Yeah, good, oh, mate. Good, thank you. Everybody awesome. knows the challenges that the Warriors had over the years against the uh, the Eagles, so we couldn't think of anyone better to represent the club tonight with that passion that we need, the experience of the track, than Brendan Johnson. Grant, you are in for a you are in for a tough night. Tonight. <laughs> well, he's he's not like you. he is, Brendan. You he's are in for the challenge. Anyway. Virtual Skid um, 3 is sponsored by Bowen Pies. And if you want to win a box of pies delivered to your door, then guess tonight's score by Heat 10. OK, so I'll be in the Premier chat room after this and you can join me and start predicting the scores. Right, guys, I know that you've already seen it, but I'm going to tell you the rules anyway. We're going to start you off with a very simple question to see who picks the first A, B, C or D for Heat number one. Now, the computer has generated 60 heats from the 75 races that we've had over the last five years against the Eagles to uh, select tonight's match. So that's A, B, C or D, okay? Yeah. We also have the tactical substitute ride. Yeah. So if you are six points, six points, not eight points, six points behind or more, you can ask Andy or he will remind you that you want to know either the home team riders or the away team riders, okay? Okay, yeah. And that runs throughout the meeting. So if you're six or points or more behind in any of your races, you get that choice. Okay, I'm that? not going to need it, but it's good to know. No, we'll wait and see. Oh, we like that. <laughs> yeah, like that. bring it on. Okay, um, and I think that's it. I'd just like to um, let everybody know and say a big shout out to Barry Marsh, who won last week's competition of the snapback from Rentruck. Thanks very much and congratulations, Barry. I'm Barry. Uh, see if you can win again tonight. Who knows? And um, I'm now going to hand you over to the maestro, the perfect, the voice of reason, Andy Hay. So he's going to run you through and then I'll come back afterwards and uh, we'll have a debrief. So good luck to you both. Bring it on. The question is, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. I only want you to shout your name, okay? Don't shout the answer. I have 10 apples, two children. They have the same each. How many have they got? Brendan. Go oh, five. Yeah, well done, Brendan. Good man. Good, Good man. So, Brendan, you get to choose the first uh, A, B, C, or D from each one. Good luck and may the best warrior, sorry, best team win. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Have fun. Cut that. Cut that. See ya. Okay, it's another Virtual Skid then, Virtual Skid Meeting 3. Thanks, Barry, for that introduction. Brendan Johnson joining us in the room with Grant Packham. We're looking forward to this. Brendan, you signed for the Warriors in 2016. Didn't quite work out because of your injury, but uh, hey, this is one that you can put back on the board for the Warriors and uh, put a win and put your influence onto it. Exactly. I'd like to make it all right, and uh, who knows? But we will uh, put Eastbourne in their beds and send them back to Arlington. That is fighting talk. Grant, what do you think of that? I didn't hear any of that. Hate is going to hate. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, you won the toss there. So, he number one, A, B, C or D? Uh, we'll go B for Brendan. 
going for B for Brendan then to start off with today. And uh, we're going to head back to the league match in 2016. So the riders are for this heat. For the Warriors is Mark Baseby and Kelsey Dugard. <laughs> and for the Eastbourne Eagles, Daniel Hume and Luke Harris. Now, Grant, uh, Daniel, Luke Harris, what do you think? I want to say Thrill. I'll, I'll play it safe, Thrill. Pat the minor plays in Thrill. Okay, he's being cautious at the beginning there, yeah. Brendan. Are you playing it cautious, or do you think the Warriors are going to win this one? I think the Warriors are going to win this one. I think it's uh, either a 4 2 or a 5 1. Well, uh, that's confidence. Let's head over and find out who's winning. Chasing silverware once again at the top of the table. Our boys know how to ride it. Easy. Easy. Make that gate, get over the top of them, and away they go. Out the gate and come out the back up, Ben, for ease. No, you ain't got this. One. Look at that. He's got the drop on him. <sighs> Easy. It's all right. He'll make it up on this. He'll go around the outside of him, I'm sure. He can do it. It's a bit wet out there, though, isn't it? It's a little bit wet, isn't it? Here he comes. Ooh. No. Never say die attitude. He's going to get it. Don't look, don't look behind. Don't look behind. Keep going. Danny Hughes a legend. I think we're on for a shared heat here. I told you. Oh. Take it. I'll take it. Mean business, the way. You probably can remember this meeting too. No, I, I honestly don't. <laughs> I went to one. Um, that was a couple years ago, so not as what I think. But, um, yeah, we'll take that. Ooh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Come on. Yeah. Okay, oh, 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 no. oh, and he's off. Oh, they're off. Oh. Red excluded, surely. <laughs> I would say he got that on the line. Purely because I'm a warrior. Uh, Okay, so that was Heat 1 then. Grant, you called it on that one. A good start for you then. You know what you're doing. Yeah, Daniel, who wouldn't let me down there away. Um, I knew the other boys might take the minor places, but it's a good start. Can't complain. Brendan, what's your thoughts? He was lucky. He won't get it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lucky, he says. So uh, over to Grant then. Grant, your pick of Heat number two, A, B, C or D? We will go... D for Dugard, keeping it in Eastbourne. See what he did there. Yeah. D for Dugard. So we are heading to the league in 2018. Your riders for the Eastbourne Eagles, Ethan Spiller yeah. and Charlie Brooks. Ooh. And for the Warriors is Jamie Seeley and Sean Tedham. Okay, Brendan, that's the lineup then. What are your thoughts on this one? It's uh, looking pretty close. Yeah, it is. Spill is quite a good rider. Um, uh, yeah, I think this could be another shared heap for uh, for both of us, I think. Grant, what about yourself? Are you confident? Yeah, Spill is good anywhere he goes. Um, I'd, like I say, free all again. I would be happy, well happy with a 4 2, but free all. Uh, yeah, happy. Free all. Okay, let's head over then. Heat number two coming your way. Spiller, come on, boys. Come on, boys. We need to get some sort of advantage in this race. You ain't getting it now. Get a lead straight off. Come on. Early doors. Come on, Spiller. Come on, Brooks Gate. Come on, come on lads. Make the take. Ooh, you've made the drop. Oh, come on, lads. Come on, lads. That's it. Round the outside. Come on, Brooks Gate. Spiller is to go into the bottom oh, take that. Come on, tell him. On the inside. No. He's to the big circuits. He rides in Germany. Oh, nice. Yeah, 42 to you at the moment. Come on. I thought it would be third or, third or second, but not third. Go on, tell him. No, don't lose it. Yes. Oh, he's out of nowhere. Just like his brother. Come on, lad. Back on it. Back on it. Oh, this is terrible. 
Come on, lad. Bring it home. Bring it home. Oh, nightmare. What are they doing? Oh, mate, come on. Heat's already in. You're losing. Come on, lads. I'm hoping for an engine failure for one of you boys. Now, uh, just poodle round, poodle round. Come on, lad. <sighs> Nice. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. Well, well, well. Got a lot of work to do here. Yeah. Do that tactical, yeah. Now turn around. <laughs> Heat number two, then five one for the Eastbourne Eagles. Grant, you were smiling at the end there. You've got a lead now, four points lead. So uh, yeah, looking good. I'll take that all day long. I wasn't expecting a five one there, but um, yeah, keep the keep the pressure on, nice and early. And a bit of a disappointment there, got to be said. I have no words to that. We need to pull something out of the bag here because they're going to pull away early doors if that keeps happening. Right. Well, it's back to you then, Brendan. Heat number three, your pick, A, B, C or D? Oh, so much pressure already. Uh, I'm going to say C. For the Warriors, you've got Scott Campos and Dano Verge. And for the Eastbourne Eagles, Tom Brennan and Charlie Powell. Ooh. Mm, so, uh, Brendan, what do you think of your pairing there? Uh, on their day, they can be really good. And I think if they get out the gate and they get away in front, I think it will be tough for them to get past. So I'm hoping this is a good race where they're going to make a gate. Okay. What about yourself, Grant? Well, Powell's good anyway. He's like grass track and stuff. Brennan's just smooth and slick wherever he goes. So if he can make the gate, three or four, two. Look how confident he looks. Wipe <laughs> that smug look off. Okay, right. Well, let's head over to heat number three and uh, see what the result is. All right, come on then, lads. Need a good that set of gates here. Look at that. Already first of the tape. Says it all. No messing about. Okay. Oh! Go on, Scott. Go on, Dano. Go no. on. Oh. Is that Kelsey? No. Right the Is that Brennan? There. Yes. Mm. See, go on. Smooth, slick. Here they come, there. Here come the boys. I hope that's Brennan. No, it's no, not. Pal, Pal's out front. Go on, Pal. Come on, Brennan. What's going on? Come on, Dano. Don't look behind, Pal. Don't look behind. They're both on his tail. Come on, Dano. Dan go for Go, go, go. Oh, look at oh, Scott, no, you're on the outside. Now he's panicking. Come on, come on. Dano, get home. Scott, one of you go for him. One of you go for him. Come on. Where's Brennan? Come on, Brennan. Ah, another shared heat. I'll take that. Come on, look at that. Brennan's out of nowhere. Round the outside of him. Get past Dano. Hold it out. Team ride, boys. No, Team no, ride it. Scott. Oh, come no. on, Brennan. He ain't going to do him as well, is he? Come on, let's do another one. On yeah, I think he's realised, is he? So there we go then, after three heats, the Eastbourne Eagles have stretched their wings. They are now six points ahead. Six plays 12. Oh, there he is. He's flying high down there. Grant, look at you. Look at you. You're loving this. Easy. I'd just call it, I'll call it done now, you know. I was not expecting Brennan to be at the back at the start, but getting the third place means probably a lot in the long run. Well, I wouldn't get too comfortable at the moment, Grant, because although you're six points up, you are now entering tactical uh, land here. However, it is still your turn here to pick the heat. So, Brendan, if your boys are three all or they struggle in this next heat, you want to uh, start thinking about the tactics of this. But for this one, then, heat four, Grant, A, B, C, or D? We'll go A for Arley, Arlington. A for Arlington, then. We are going to head back to the Knockout Cup in 2018. 
The riders are for the Eastbourne Eagles, Georgie Wood and Jason Edwards. And for the Warriors, Ben Hopwood and Josh Embleton. Mm. Okay. Brendan, what's your thoughts? Uh, Hoppy should win the race. Nice and comfortable. Um, I'm going to say a 4-2 to us. Oh, bit of confidence there then. Grant, what about yourself? Yeah. Nah, Georgie Wood's got this easily. I reckon he's got he's got some determination. He, like I'd like saw something in him to sign for him, so got it all day long. Okay, well, let's find out if you're right. Oh, come on, lads, I don't want to have to use a tactical two early doors. Yeah, how many tactics are you allowed? As many as you want. I'll only need one if I need one. I don't, I'm not even worrying about a tactical move at the moment, mate. Don't need them. Sitting pretty. <laughs> For a little yeah. bit, mate. Come on, Pete. Oh, you go. go on. Go on, Edwards. And the outside. Bish bash. Done. That was too good around the Isle of Wight, he was. Yeah, he's decent anywhere, isn't he? Consistent. Remember to turn, Jason. I don't know what Ben's teammate's doing at the moment. Where is he? He's gone back to the change room, mate. <laughs> he's looked at he's looked at I'm happy. I'm happy to keep three alls until the last drag. Snatch the win. Make you cry. <laughs> Jobs are good. And come on, upward. Stick in there, son. Come on, Jason. Though. He's doing all right. Good old Georgie Wood bringing him home. Bonus points and all that. I need a little spud gun to knock your rider off. <laughs> Give me a point. No, you ain't got that. Nah. Race is wrapped up now. Real, real, nice. Into the bank turning down there on turn number four. Riding mid track, looking for the victory. Comes off. I think I'll nominate Ben to race in every one for me, please. Nah, you can't. <laughs> Well, there we have it then, four heats down, and we've still kept that six-point gap. So we're going to be heading into tactical territory now. But before we do, Grant, how are you feeling by the fact that uh, Brendan now has got a bit of a bit of an insight and can make your decisions against you? Well, you know, somebody's going to have to do this in this um, in this whole virtual skid, and it had to be Brendan, didn't it? Be the first person to have to go to, um, you know, tacticals and stuff. But um, I used to like you, Grant. We used to be friends. <laughs> I love you, really. <laughs> All right, then, Brendan, it is over to you. This is where we're going to change things up a little bit. You're six points down. So you now get to choose whether you would like to know the sets of riders. Oh, so I have to use it now. You got to you use it now. You get this chance whilst you're six points down. Oh, I thought I could use it any point in the meeting. No, this is going to every time you choose your heat. And you're six mm. points down or more, you get this choice. Oh. But before mm. we go further, do you want to know Change things. the Warriors riders or the Eastbourne riders? I would like to know the Eastbourne riders, please. Okay, Ooh. so the pairings for the Eastbourne Eagles that you can choose are either Jake Knight and Charlie Powell, mm -hmm. Daniel Hume and Luke Harris. Or Tom Brennan and Jason Edwards, or Georgie Wood and Jason Edwards. <laughs> That's uh, tough, it is. I think I would go Georgie Wood and Edwards, please. Georgie Wood and Jason mm -hmm. Edwards for the Eastbourne Eagles. And for the Warriors, we have Scott Campos and Chris Whitman from the trophy match mm -hmm. back in 2018. That's your choice. Now we're going to head over and find out if it was the right choice. Do your number one duties, mate. I've chosen you specially to win this race. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Come on, Edwards. Come on, Edwards. You're good round here. Come on, Chris. Come on, Scott. Don't touch the tape or anything, please. Oh. Yes. Oh, God, George, round the outside. Nice and easy. Look at that. Beautiful. 
Edwards Come on, Chris. Chase him down. I can't even see Georgie Wood. He's that far ahead. Oh, there he is. There he is, mate. Not that far. Look at that exhibition. This is for him. Come on, Jason. Oh, I don't want to place him. Get the extra. I need some heat advantages here. You need a lot of heat advantages, Brendan. <laughs> one five one, and I'm back in the game. Do it again. Hold on, Scott. Look at that. Come on, keep the job going. Keep the job. Come on, come on. Come on, come on lads. Hold out. No. Come on, one more lap. Look at it. Look, he's going to do him. He's going to do him. Look at this. Round the outside. I can't even speak. I'm just watching it. Open the holds on. Look at this. Look at this. Behind him, past the shale. Nah, he's got him. He ain't going to go wide enough to get past him. He will watch. Weird sound. Jason's got determination. He wants that point. He wants the, you know. He wants to it. Look, hold you. Oh, he's done it. Come on, Scott. Press Jason. Oh. I'm buying that man a drink. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm sending Scott a private message later. So we are back in the room then, a 4-2 to Eastbourne, even though the tactical was played there. Uh, Brendan, before we, before we go over to Grant, who's rubbing his, uh, rubbing his hands here, Brendan, um, you mentioned there you're going to send Scott a little message later on. What are you going to say to him? I'm going to say he's let me down. He let me down there, a kipper. He should not have let him round the outside there, I tell you. And I tell you what, Grant, you, uh, you had faith in Jason there. He was at the back, but you, you had faith he could come through. Yeah, I owe that man a drink now, I think, after that. Um, definitely packing the minor places do make the difference. You keep bringing them tacticals, mate. Bring it on. So we're going to head into heat number six then. Grant, it's back to you. It's your choice. A, B, C or D? We're going to go for the late great Mr. B, Bob Dugard. B for Bob Dugard. Okay, okay. so we've gone for B. And we're going to head back to 2017 then for the Warriors. It is Ben Wilson and Adam Portwood. Okay. And for the Eastbourne Eagles, Ben Hopwood and Alex Spooner. Ooh. So, uh, Grant, earlier on, uh, Ben Hopwood did the, did the show for the Warriors. Now he's obviously as an Eastbourne Eagle. So, um, what are your thoughts? Well, I say, if he can do it for them, he can do it for us 10 times better than he did then. Easily. Oh, what do you think, Brent? Not with Wilson in the race. That's wrapped up. I would say, potentially, another three all we're looking at here. Yeah. Okay, well, let's find out. Let's head in for heat number six. And a last place. In fact, he got a third place. It was awarded. Retro Eastbourne. He's going to ride like an Elite Cold League star now. Ben, so look at him. Then. Come heat on, Ben. My Ben. 15. My Ben. He's wearing Matty Zagar's race suit. Front. Here we go. Oh, movement there. Yeah. But I'll take that because he's away. Go on. Yeah. Bring that back. He was moving. Come on, Come on, Sam. Come on, on the outside. On, I'll take this. Come on, Ben. I thought that was a five, not an S for slow. <laughs> Come on. Hey, I'm looking at a heat advantage here. I can't speak too soon. Go on. Makes a change, doesn't it? Hey, hey. <laughs> Into the bottom turn. Come on, just and follow him, follow him. He's gonna well he's gonna do something, he's gonna make a mistake. Into the Warriors team this year. Doing what a number one should do. Good to see a good crowd there. Had some nasty, nasty knocks throughout the year as well. Where's the rest of them? Looks back over his shoulder. Uh, there's only two people in this race now, mate. You only have to play your tactical then, would you? <laughs> it's gonna be a four two to the Warriors. The old cameraman likes a bit of the old like um, Ben Upwood. They've been level once again. Yeah, he's a legend, isn't he? Living legend. Living legend is old Hoppy. Yeah. Bless him. Wiley old Fox hey, this is a 4-2 to, to me. To win. I hope not. Boom. Number six. There he goes. It is. The line. Second place goes I'm back to in the Hoppy. game. And third place to Portwood. That is four points to the... I think. White in his <laughs> I so. <laughs> he has a, a where are they? The doors, the Did they give up? Have 18, <sighs> and the Maybe it was have just them two.
Okay, so we're back in the room then after Heat 6. It was a win for Ben Wilson. And more importantly, Adam Portworth picked up the third place to a 4-2 to the Warriors. Means it's back to six points in it. And Brendan, you still have your tactical rule that you can play in this next heat. It's your choice. And I ain't going to let it slip this time. <laughs> so um, Ben Hopwood kind of almost helped you in that one from the opposite, opposite side. Yeah. I'm happy with that. See, he knows where his true colours lie. Brian, how are you feeling? I reckon Brendan knew where this was going to happen in a couple of years' time and said to Ben, look, I'll give you some money. Do better for Isle of Wight. Not so well for Eastbourne. Yeah, exactly. Future job, yeah. Future little job, yeah. Oh, OK, <laughs> so heading in. Heat number seven. Brendan, we're back at your pick. You're six points down. Tactical rule. Do you want to know the home side of the Warriors riders or the away of the Eastbourne Eagles? I want to know my riders. Thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> changing tactics then. So for <laughs> heat number seven, you can have either Ben Morley and Jamie Seeley or Connor Coles and Jamie Seeley or Ben Hopwood and Jamie Bursil or Ben Hopwood and Jamie Seeley. I will go Ben Morley and Jamie Seeley, please. Ben Morley, Jamie Seeley. Uh, Grant, you haven't got a say in this one. Your riders are Charlie Brooks and Charlie Powell. The two Charlies there heading back to the league in 2018. See that face? See that face? <laughs> okay, let's find out how this one plays out. Here we go, heat number seven. Come on, boys, don't do a the job for me. Come on. For the first turn. Oh, Come it's on. Morley Harris. Got hey, a fire. Go on, Seeley, ride it home, ride it home. Team ride, boys. Down the back straight into the bottom. Big licks, around the outside now, come on. Charlie Brooks in second. The third place rider, Charlie Powell in second place. That's it, do that. Keep doing that, keep doing that. But there is Ben Morley, he's got a sizable lead. Lastly, experienced in comparison. Never in any doubt. One of the favourites for the National League Riders final up at Leicester in a couple of weeks' time. And Alfie Botel's got yeah, a good chance of being mate. that as well. He's going to play like this. No <laughs> drama. No ah. drama. Ah. Ah. Uh, I hope Carl's coming back to beat you. The amount of um, people you've been using in, in a meeting, mate. You Still never know. You should get that record. Place. Get a little trophy well in, in, in the virtual squid season. One to go for Morley. Who is going to register his second race win. Three all. Jeez. I can't pick a win here, can I? They know they can cause an upset here. Dearly me. Powell still there Come on, Seely, I'll back you, mate. Brooks in third what place, round the bottom turn, up the banking, head in for the check and flag. Ben Morley it is who takes the three points there. Powell takes two, Brooks takes one. Hello, boys. The Whitening Warriors take three, the former IT Eagles take three, and that means the scores are now the Whitening Islanders on 20. And the yeah, Eagles gave up still I'll pass in him. front oh, there he is. on 22. Okay, we're back in the room then after seven heats. Grant, you're still holding a six-point lead over the Warriors at the moment. Your confidence is still brimming. What are you going to say to your lads when they come in after that one? I'm going to give them, Matt, I'm going to give them bumps already. The means not even finished yet, but no. they all deserve bumps. You know, as long as they land on their head, we'll be fine. Get Bump out of floor. here. Really? Get out of here. <laughs> Brendan, that is confidence brimming there, and uh, he's going to give him the bumps before uh, even being halfway through the uh, the meeting. But uh, <laughs> what about you? What, what would you say to the guys if you're in the pits? Uh, if I was in the pits right now, I'd be saying, look, we need to sort out our setups. We're clearly not good enough, um, and we need to win this. So we need to get ourselves back in shape. Need to win it, back in shape. Back over to Grant then. He number eight, A, B, C, or D? C. Grant is going for C. C for what, Grant? Um. Uh, ah, stumped you. You had one for every other one. Charlie Not for Powell. a C. There you go. <laughs> I am loving this banter happening here. Okay, C, back to the league in 2018. These Bourne Eagles, it is Jason Edwards and Ethan Spiller. And for the Warriors, Dan Verge and Sean Tedham. Ooh. Okay, Grant, what do you think of your pairing? Yeah, Spill, Spiller's got this, I think. Easy. And then um, we'll pack the minor placings. Another 4 2. Oh, he thinks a 4 2, Brendan? I'm not that hopeful, but I'm going to stay positive and I hope, I hope the boys can put it out the bag. 
Okay, so he's staying positive. He's looking for a win from one of the Warriors to at least keep things tight here in this one. Let's find out how Heat 8 went. Out in front. Brooks Burge coming in. Well, he can do a job. Red Hammer, he's he on gets that out. Outside Don't get gate. caught up in traffic. This could be an interesting one. Right. Come on, Jason. So here we go then. Start on Marshall. Come on, Tanner. Got him in line. Come on. We're ready to go. Come on, boys. Get out of that gate. Green lights on. Away they go. Oh, and a charge oh, for the first time. Burge just made a super Come start on, from outside. Burge is in front. Look at this here. It's Spiller who's gone Sorry. through on the inside. Into the Shut bottom off, turn, it. Daniel that's Spiller it. in front of around. Dano Verge in second place. Verge going up the bank in there come on, to come off the fourth turn. Oh, Dano. Round that first and second turn. Expecting Sean to pull, pull out some big licks as well. Spiller leading the way. Look at that. Keep pulling in. Down these back straight. Dano Verge right up his exhaust pipe. Edwards is in third place. Believe. Tedham is at the back here. The Eagles on a 4-2, but young Ethan it is in front here. Really looking oh, above. Look at that. Oh, Dano. Dano's there. Try, try, try. Really pushing him very, very hard. Super That's a good race. There. Yeah. Down the back straight into the bottom turn. It would be even better if he gets past, past him. He's going to have yeah, to go the long way mate. round. Because Spiller is lurking good here. Keep him on his. Look at that. And another heat of fun is coming. Turn, Bring it home, boy. Bring it home. Come on. Brother, and I got him hot. The youngster <laughs> out in front. Man's bad luck here, I tell you. Yeah, he's getting the way of the e the Eastbourne boys Eagles. now. But look at that, even Burgess Jason's getting involved. Four, he's had enough. Place, Ethan Spiller, not Daniel Spiller. Ethan, who takes the chequered flag. Oh, look at that, team. easy, easy as you like. Two points go to uh, Dano Verge, one point to Jason Edwards. Is that another tactical? Yeah, uh, that's eight, eight, eight points up. Yeah. You are on it. Sussex by two points I'm right down the list of tactical German, mate. Yeah, yeah, thanks, mate. Okay, we are back in the room then. After eight heats gone, we're now halfway through the meeting. The Eastbourne Eagles have pulled away another two points. They're eight points up, Grant. <laughs> what are you saying? I get a biz out now and celebrate. <sighs> well, he's pretty confident there as always, Brendan. Um, but hey, how many races have you been in? How many meetings have you been in when you've seen it turn around with an eight-point difference? Yeah, loads, mate. It's all to play for. It's all to play for. And of course, all to play for, it's back to you, Heat 9. But before we do that, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors tonight, Bowen Pies. Obviously, we saw Paul in last week's meeting. Uh, great sport he was. This week, he is supplying the prize for the live chat. So guys, if you're in the live chat, make sure you try and guess what the score is going to be at the end of this meeting. But you've got to put your guesses in before Heat 10, okay? So all of you on the live chat now, Throw your results in there. Let's see what you think the meeting results going to be. And you can walk away with some Bowen Pies. Fantastic. Guys, have you tasted the Bowen Pies yet? I haven't. I was just thinking I need to order a box. I think he's at the door now. He's got my pies because I know the score. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is, this is competition. Victory pie. What puts me off, though, is he supports Man City. Oh, no. Can't have a pie from a Man City supporter. Oh. All of a sudden, those pies don't. Quite taste so sweet for Grant, yeah. but uh, no, I can believe me, they are fantastic <laughs> pies. So, uh, no, I will be ordering some, yeah. Why not, Brendan? Heading back to you then, tactical land again, heat number nine. You're eight points down. So, do you want to know the home team riders of the Warriors or the Eagles? Home team again, please. Back on the home team, then okay. You can have Scott Campos and Chris Whitman, or James Cockle and Scott Campos, or Scott Campos and Chris Whitman again, or Lee Smart and Chris Whitman? Ooh, I will go James Cockle and Scott Campos, please. Okay, so we're Ooh. heading back to 2017. And uh, for the Eastbourne Eagles, we have Ben Hotwood again and Alex Spooner. We saw this pairing out earlier on. Um, so, uh, yeah, tasty little lineup this one. Uh, Brendan, are you confident? Yeah, I think uh, Hobbit's obviously good around the island, but if Cockrell can get out the gate, he's, uh, he's also very formidable. So let's go. Well, let's go. On that note, let's head over for heat number nine. Right, Hopwood. Bear out there next time. Come on. Do a better job. Come on, Cockrell. Right round the outside. Brendan ain't taken us for this twice. 
I reckon this is it. He advantage to me, you know. We've got a paid win first time out, so here we go. And away again. Yes, Cockle. Uh, Come on, Ben, do stay there. Yeah, quite around the outside, Sam. So. Uh, no good there yet. Look. Yeah, there we go. Away he goes. Sorted. Race over. Come on, Mr. Cockle. He's around the outside. No, he's not. He's out. Oh, James, James, James. Six position in that team. Oh, oh. rerun. And, uh, very strange yes. situation. They've used oh, the best of boys. for a rider who has no intention of riding. Yeah, that'll do. So there is Hotwood. He's got away. He's gone in front. No there we go. There. Oh, easy like. I lost my earphones. Spooner in third <laughs> oh. They go round the bottom turn. I'm well, surprised all the Eastbourne and Eagles fans going wild well, in the background. I am Hotwood. gutted. Cruising, oh, right the look at that. Newcastle in the championship. Well, at least I've got a second and I've split there. the race here with Scott. You have split the race. Right, is that tactical number three Ken coming King's up, mate? Courses, his, uh, number four, isn't it? Team this year. I don't know, is it? I'm, I'm right them down. We've got a tally. Mike, House, Stoke Potters. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Doing a good job for the Eagles Well, well, the well. Moment. Second place at the moment, Scott Campus. Yeah, we'll take that. Nice, it nice. Is Spooner. The, uh, I'm sat here thinking all the things I can do to make myself win, but I'm not in control. Lakeside have tried him, Kent have tried him, Eastbourne have tried him. You can't exactly get your PlayStation controller out. No, exactly. We'll change a few sprockets. Yeah. He's getting bike back, mate. It's all out. It's about the past. I know. <laughs> two points there to Scott Campus. Yeah, we'll take that. There to Alex Spooner. Nice, easy four the twos. Deficit is now four <sighs> points because that is a four two to the visitors. Twenty five points to the Warriors. After the result of heat number nine, then the Eastbourne Eagles are ten points up. Going to come to you, Brendan. You and the team manager tonight. Your riders have just come back into the pits. It's now time to regroup. You've been there many times when it's been for and against you in this situation. What are you going to say to all your riders? Are you going to gather them together? Uh, not just yet. I think you'd go around and have a brief little chat to everyone and see how they're doing, see how they're feeling. Um, but I think there's no time for panic at the moment. I think we've got a couple of heats. All we need is a couple of heat advantages and we're back in it. So just keep doing what we're doing. A few high fives from you, Grant, I'm sure. Yeah, I've, I've promised the boys, if it's a winner, winner, it's a chicken dinner at Nando's. Oh, well, he's pushing the boat out there, isn't he? <laughs> okay, then, back to Grant, then, for your pick of heat number 10, A, B, C, or D? We will go um, B. Can't think of anything for B. Yeah. B. Okay, back to 2016 <laughs> in the league, then, for the Eastbourne Eagles, we have Ellis Perks and Georgie Wood. Ooh. And for the... Warriors, we have Mark Baysby and Kelsey Dugard. So uh, oh. there are your pairings for heat number 10. Grant, what are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, Ellis Perk's done a job for us. He did down at Eastbourne. Um, yeah, he's all right. I think we'll be all right here. Yeah? I'm feeling confident. At least we're going to get a free all. Yeah, I, th I think he's spot on with everything he said. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that something like what happened in the last race happens to Mr. Packham. Well, all we can do is find out. Let's go watch the race. Eagles get themselves back on track. Still two points behind. We might get on with it. Come on, lads. They can smell like the all night. Let's make a gate. Let's make a gate. That's it. A little bit forward. The bikes are revving away. Green lights on. And away they go. Oh, look. How's he left at the, the start? Who's made a good start here? Go on, Ellis. Go on, base base. Baby is the chaser, Baby. Yeah, he loves it, doesn't he? Yeah. Place, he's, at the back this time. Yeah, he's a bit fearless. Perks is good, though. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah. He just got better and better. He's around this first and second turn out in front there, Baby. Again, awfully wide. That's it. Pat Mine plays some Woody. Third place there, the 4 2 to Eastbourne here. Would level things up. Perks, it is in front here. He's looking so, so fast, so, so slow. Hold out, hold out. Get me another. <laughs> Got this oh, 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 where's he going? He can smell the Nando's. He's not in our team, though. Oh, you're in third as well. Yeah. Oh, I just noticed that. I had somebody knock on the door, a delivery bloke, and it's put me off. He's, 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 you see that? He's talking to me, so I can smell Nando's. I know. Yeah. Still got another couple of rides to I can smell it. 
cockiness is not a good look, Grant. Look at this, look, poetry in motion. Oh. And that is Ellis Perks. There's Baseby, who has to settle for second place. Third place goes to Woods. Well, after 10 heats, the Eastbourne Eagles have stretched their wings once again. They're now 12 points up. It's getting bigger. God, Brendan, what are you going to do? Going to have another tactical, I think. Well, I think that's, uh, yeah, you've got to, you've got to play them. But Grant, you seem okay with him taking these tacticals now with this uh, cushion. It just seems like the norm now, you know, I'm used to it. I'm, you know, bring it. Like isolation, it's the norm. <laughs> All right, then, talking of the norm, let's uh, head back to you then, Brendan. It's your choice. Tactical again, once again, for Heat 11. Do you want to know the Warriors or the Eastbourne Eagles riders? Could I please find out the score to the winning Heat, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> I will take the home riders. Okay, home riders then for heat number 11. You can have either Ben Hopwood and Josh Embleton or Ben Morley and Jamie Seeley or James Cockle and Lane Cupid or Ben Hopwood and Jamie Bursil. I will go C on that one, please. C, okay. So you're wanting James Cockle and Lane Cupid and for the Eastbourne Eagles, it is Daniel Hume and Charlie Powell. Ooh. Okay, so Daniel and Charlie Powell, what are your thoughts on this, Grant? Yeah, pack the minor places, three or at the, le the least. If, if not, he advantage, here we come. Brendan, you chose James Cockle there. You've ridden with James as well in the past. Uh, Lane Cupid as well, around the, uh, the home shell. Are you confident? Yeah, I think uh, Cockle will, if he doesn't fall off again, that is, <laughs> will... Uh, win the race and then hopefully Lane can pick up a heat advantage for me. Okay, heat advantage is what Brendan wants. Let's find out if his riders do it for him. This is heat number 11. That is Sweet victory coming so, our so way. On this super fast raceway. So I'm going to try something front, reverse psychology here. Yeah? Miss the gate, boys. Miss the gate. You You'll win. Because I've been saying make the gate every time. And they don't. Come on. Man, go on. Don't touch tapes. There we go. On we get. Yes. Yes. What's going on here? In front here. Daniel. Too soon. Go on. Oh, he's lifting. Yeah, James will cover him. Come on. Cockle, he's going where he's going. Here. Look, that's he's him out. Oh, trying to find a way around the outside. Oh, almost oh. covered Reef there. Got out of room. But the Isle of Wight is going on. I see proper excitement for the first time. Go on. Oh, split him. At least split him. This one wasn't in the script. Yes, James. Around the bottom turn. Lane Cooper. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Here comes Daniel. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's going to do the double. He's going to try and go past the other one. Oh, that's a bit controversial. I'm inside. James. Go on, James. Oh, you can throw a blanket on all of them. Round the bottom turn. It is Cockle. Oh, I thought he was going to do it then. I'll take that so far. Daniel's up. Sensational speed right here in heat number 11. And Cupid still hanging on to the place, but he's coming under pressure from Charlie Powell at the back. Yeah, that'll do. I'll take that. I was a bit hard. I'll let you have a bit. No, no. Terrific speed right there. Yeah. Cockle, the winner, Daniel Hume takes second place. Yeah, yeah, So there we are. We are back in the room then. And what you may have missed there is while all the action was happening at the front on the last couple of corners, Eastbourne Eagles rider did come through there and it was a three all. Oh, just gets better. It gets better. Brendan, you look gutted, mate. Uh, might as well just pack up going now. Uh, come on, lads. You've been there many times. You talked about it. We can turn this around. Four heats to go. Grant, is your pick for heat number 12, A, B, C, or D? We're going A. You're going to go A for heat number 12. So your riders in this one are Tom Brennan and Nick Lawrence. Oh, Nick, Slicky. <laughs> yeah, Slick Nick. For the Warriors, it is Scott Campos and Sean Tedham. So, Brendan, Ooh. how are you feeling, mate? 5-1 to us. Come on. We have to get one. That's it. He's holding out for his 5-1. Grant, are you confident? 
yeah, slick will smash them easy, you know. <laughs> and I'll take a free all at this one. Free all. Okay, let's head over then. This is heat number 12. Tom Brennan in the this has got to be three. a mad and Sean Tedham win. On the inside gate, gate nah, one. nah, nah. Tom Brennan, you know, well, if he gets out of the gate, Scotty should win it. Here we go. Yeah, he should really. And away <gasps> they go. He's looking for his Brennan partner, but he's gone out anyway. Has he got, he's got, he's he's got a problem? No, yeah, no. No, they're on. Come on, Sean. Yes, Slick. Come on, That's Sean. it. Do a reserve Brennan. job. You could do Take it. it Look at that. Place, place oh, this is demoralising. I need to jump on a bike. Get me out there. Get me out there. Oh. Where's your bad luck? Where's your riders for you? Where's your problems? Oh. We don't have Tom problems. We only have solutions. Front. <laughs> Brennan looking slick as anything. Look at that. You'd love to see it. Where's Slick? There he is. Slick looking slick. Come on, Sean. Bring it home. Bring it home. Last lap. Get out in the dirt. Well done, boy. Look at that. Nice. Go on. Go on. Nick, if you're watching this. I'll buy you a bit. Oh, he's trying to go on Nathan. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, I think we just got that. Oh, yes. Well, Brennan. Okay, so we've got three heats left then after heat number 12. Another 4-2, 43 plays 29. Grant, you are smiling now. You're, uh, you're feeling pretty confident now, that's for sure. Yeah, I've got the old Nando's uh, on quick call, ready to order the lemon herb uh, chicken. Um, Nick's getting loads of chicken tonight. Lemon and herb. Lemon. That's for women. Well, if they're taking them to Nando's, where are you taking your <laughs> boys, Brendan? They're, they're getting the dingy... Dingy street side calf. <laughs> They're just getting a cold sandwich. Okay, so far, hey, they could be uh, they could be dining out there. We never know. They can pull this back. Three heats left. We're back over to Brendan. It's your choice once again. Heat thirteen. These are where the big guys come out. The uh, the top boys in the team. So we could turn it around. This is important, Brendan. Your choice. Still in tactical land. Do you want to know the home riders or the away riders? I'd like. The home riders, please. The home riders, then, in heat number 13 are Ben Morley and Ben Hopwood. Or Ben Morley and Ben Hopwood. Or yeah. Alfie Botel and Ben Morley. Or Ben Wilson and Connor Coles. Oh, that's all so hard. <laughs> They're all equally as good. I would go for, I'm going to go for the option B. Option B? Okay, that's heading back for the Knockout Cup in 2018. So Ben Morley and Ben Hopwood. And for the Eastbourne Eagles, you've got Mark Baseby and Georgie Wood. Ooh, I do like a heat 13. Here we go. So Big guns. starting to hot up now. Let's head over for heat 13. We put this to bed. Big heat 13, big legs, Big heat. come on. Put this to bed, that's it. We've got this, surely, surely, nothing can go wrong from here. Ben and Ben, double Ben, B and B, double trouble. <laughs> Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's got over him. He's got over him. Come on, Ben. Come on, go, go, go. No! Come on, boys, you're supposed to, supposed to do a job here. That's it. There you go. Oh, Easy come on. Like. Oh, look at that. Who's that in white? Mark Baseby. I think so. Yeah, look at that. Go on, do it. Up. Just keep it cool. Keep it cool. That's it. Cut back down the hill. <laughs> this can't happen. This cannot happen. This is. This cannot happen. Look at this. Cannot happen. We'll take this. I think it's a 4-2 to you. 
you it you're is. Creeping back. Come on, Baze. Disappointed Hoppy. Where's Hoppy? He's gone back, backwards. Ah, come on. You, I know you paid him, but you didn't pay him for at least pay some decent, like at least one ride. Decent. Yeah, I, I only paid him for one ride, but I thought he might hold out for a couple more. <laughs> nah, we'll let you have that one. There we are then, that's Heat 13 and a 4-2 to the Warriors. Unfortunately, Brendan, that puts uh, Grant on 45 points, which means that with two heats to go, he needs both of his riders not to finish in order for Ooh. you to gain a draw. I was just happy to get heat advantage. I knew it had gone. <laughs> okay, he's... Uh, He's celebrating early down there, Grant. Uh, you've still got to be happy with Mark Baseby. What a pass that was. Yeah, uh, fair play to him. I thought that was it. I thought he was going to um, just take the third place, but he knew that I was watching him, and I gave him the look saying, look, you're not getting no chicken. Come out of nowhere. Splits the, my, yeah, splits the top pack, so he'll get, he'll get a drumstick. Social distancing drumsticks. Yeah, I'll throw at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. We're going to he head on to Heat 14. Grant, it's your choice. A, B, C or D? D. Going for D this time. We're going to head back to 2018 in the league. And for the Warriors, it is Chris Whitman and Sean Tedham. And for the Eastbourne Eagles, Charlie Powell and Charlie Brooks. Stand your bike, boys. <laughs> Down the bike. I'd like to know if there ever was a race where two didn't finish for Eastbourne. There probably was. Hopefully, it's this one. We're going to head in and find out what the result is for heat number 14. And, uh, Chris Whitman has only picked I've up got a massive run. poster on the bend so one, two, to say, stay on five. <laughs> Come on, lads, let's just... So here we go then. Let's get some points. Across, the Paper pride. Ready to go. And away they go and a charge for the first Ooh. turn. And look at this, here it is, Whitman has gone oh. in front here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look how close it is there. Look at that There's team John riding. Jesus just, just went straight. Who's that kind of riding? Who's that in white? Thank you very much as well. And well, they like got a little bit hairy. That is it, pal? First turn. And uh, well, we can have another look at it here as we go in. There is Ted, and oh. he goes out the oh. item. He hits that fence it's pretty. What's going on here? Oh, Whitman. <laughs> here we go. See what's going to happen this time. And away they go. At least it wasn't the other way around. Charles the first turn. And it is Whitman who's gone. Go on, Chris. Again. Charles Come on, lad. Looking for a gap on the inside Come of him. Pal. And he moves him out. He's going to the bottom turn. turn left on him. Whitman He'll be all right, pal. Get the win. It's Whitman on the outside. There you again. go. Charlie Powell goes right across his front wheel. Round the first like. and second oh no, what's going on? Problems there. He I don't know, this is a crazy. Don't worry, he's gone back to his... What's going on? What's happening I don't know what's going on with the bike. We folded. We, we're we're, just, we're ready for beers, burgers and bed. We're ready to tie the night in. Just down the bike, boys. That's it. Go on, Charlie's. Into the bottom turn, Charlie Powell leading the way. Charlie Brooks in nice. second place. The Eagles are making sure they are going home with four points. E14 was always a race I would be annoyed at if I lost. Second turn. Yeah. <laughs> Down the back straight. Finish the Rip night the yeah. there from Charlie Powell. We're going to be celebrating on that he ferry. It's his young teammate there He's behind going to be him. the checkered flag. <laughs> I'll be sat in my van downstairs, not Rook getting out. Place. <laughs> Whitman has to settle for third place. Whitening putting on a show for us. <laughs> God, stay standing everything with a cup the and all sorts. Look at that. It's only one point and it's wheelie time. Eagles, no, the on the we'll doors. do that. Oh yeah, it's wheelie. Yeah, Look at that. Well, there we have it. We got one more race to go. Then the Heat 15. But another 5-1 to the Eastbourne Eagles, Grant. Um, you look like you're finishing in style there. Um, you've got to be happy with that. Yeah, buzzing for that. I, I don't know what was going on in that race half the time, but um, 
we pulled through. Um, yeah, happy days. I think in the first showing of that race, uh, Sean Tedham actually fell off uh, nah. because they were all pretty close to each other. It was a rerun and he was excluded. Brendan? I am sat cross-armed, unhappy, not happy with our performance Ooh. today whatsoever. Well, you can finish it in style. You can get a big win in Heat 15 if you can pull it off. You are still in the tactical. We're going to allow that to continue okay. into Heat 15 here. And uh, it's your choice. Heat 15, do you want the away riders or the home riders, Brendan? <laughs> I will have away, please. We have Ellis Perks and Jake Knight, or Jake Knight and Josh Bailey, or Tom Brennan and Mark Baseby, or Tom Brennan and Jason Edwards. I'm going to go B, please. Ooh. You're going to go for B then? So that's uh, Jake Knight and Josh Bailey for the Eagles and for the Warriors, Ben Wilson and Scott Campos. Are you happy with that, Brendan? Yes. <laughs> and that's all he's saying. What about you, Grant? Yeah, I'll take that. I should have took our riders to find out. Yeah. I was surprised why you did that, the away one first. Why not chance a different, different arm? I've lost anyway. <laughs> well, there you go. Let's go into heat 15 then and find out what the final score is. And, of course, someone is going to win that great prize by Paul Bowen and Burren Pies over in the chat room. So let's find out if your score is going to work out. Let's find out. Heat 15. This is it then. Jay victory laps Campus coming up. Victory gate. laps. And victory Josh laps. Oh, victory well, we're we're going to get the win with Ben Wilson. That's a given. Three. Obviously, three Campos has had a really good baby. meeting. Or seven. nobody else wanted to ride Heat 15. <laughs> here. So here we go then. Oh, here we go. And away they go. It was a good meet for Scott. Go on, oh. boy. Turn and it's good start there for oh, no. And Wilson Look at that. There you go. And it's that is the Scott, that is the Scott I remember. That is the Scott I remember from back in the day. And Jake go on, watch your back. He's at the back here. Come on, team right. Look, slow him down. Look at it. Here. And well, here comes Bailey. Can he find a way through on the He's inside? Kind of the inside of him. Yeah. Inside of Bailey. Mm. Race no, Scott, come on. And Jake Knight is unbeaten. He's sitting in last Oh, and inside, inside. Round the bottom turn. Bailey there you go. We can't, they're all coming into the pie. What is that? Go. Yeah. Knight goes up ah. the inside of Wilson. And Wilson comes back in. Oh, he's at the back as well. This is completely different to how I thought it would pan out. Wilson's gone back past him. Oh, he's look, this is it, this is it. Just nah, Scott's got a nice little line there going. Go look at that leg there. out, he's like Emil Soft footing off. Come on, boy. Josh Bailey. Oh, no. Oh, ben. Ben's back in it. Oh, oh, where'd he come from? He, <laughs> he wants to earn his spot for next season. Oh, mate. this is a mint race, this is. Best to laugh. Come on, Scott. leg out again. Scott, hold on. Nah, nah, fair play. That was a good race. Hey, another heat advantage. Yeah, you're a bit late, mate. <laughs> Let me celebrate the small things. That is the final result of the meeting. 52 to the Eagles, 38 to Sorry, the guys. Warriors. And if you chose 52, 38 in the chat room hey. and you're the only one, you win. And if there's others as well, then you'll be put into the pot and Paul Burren, I'm sure, will choose the winner randomly. So that's it. That's the end of the meeting. The Eastbourne Eagles are walking away from Virtual the handshake. island with another win. Virtual handshake there. So uh, let's just go to the two team managers here. First of all, to Brendan Johnson there. 38 points for the Warriors. Let's get your take on how the night went. Uh, wrong choices. Wrong, uh, wrong setups. Wrong everything, really. I am gutted. And I'm sorry I couldn't get a win for all the, uh, all the Islanders supporters out there. But you represented the Warriors very well there, Brendan. And they were right behind you shouting away at home as well. Now, Grant, you're celebrating there. You were celebrating early. You were very confident. And it certainly played out that well for you. So uh, have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, we've had the right setup, the right choices. And, you know, happy days. I can, go, I can sleep now. Well, I won't sleep now. I'm going to go out and party, I think party in my own little house <laughs> with the boys well before you party then we're going to bring barry bishop in i'm going to say goodbye we'll bring barry bishop back with you uh and let's do a sort of wrap up of the meeting and so on thanks ever so much for your time tonight guys 
Yeah, for joining in with the spirit of things. Great to see you. Brendan, great to see you back again. And Cheers, um, yeah, I'll hand you over to Barry. Cheers. Hey, how are hey. you doing? Yeah. Sorry, boss. Oh, <laughs> man. It was a hard task. I know that you asked off uh, camera earlier if we'd ever beaten Eastbourne, and we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't it think It was so. a real tough task. <laughs> but we do know, by the way, the algorithm did spit out uh, ways in which, if you'd have selected it the right way, where we could have won by 12 points or something. So, ah, okay. just how it is, it's yeah. uh, the nature of the beast. And, yeah, it was good um, fun, that. Yeah. I was very happy to see the, uh, well, not so happy, but I was happy to see the uh, tactical substitute work, rule work really well. And there was some good racing uh, during the night as well. So, thank you very much for uh, taking part. For me, you know, I wear it with pride. Win, lose or draw, I'm always a warrior through the through my body so um uh it was great entertainment and this is what it's all about virtual skid is real you know it's a real meeting by chance of course but it's uh we could have the say the two of you back again to do it again in the future and we could win Just honestly it's great fun, fun. Yeah. great fun yeah. and so anyway thanks for taking part i'd like to thank uh, of course andy hay speedway portal ian groves uh, for all the hard work that they put in to making this production come out and our brilliant sponsors tonight um uh bowen pies uh i've had boxes of the bloody things the things <laughs> and um you know we we love them and we eat them southern style down here which was baked bean occasionally i treat everybody to a northern style with mushy peas and gravy but uh, i highly recommend them and yes they do make bolty pies uh in the magic hey. box uh but i've already asked him to uh if he could sell them as a one big box because I've had one and they're delicious. Anyway, the next virtual skid will be in two weeks' time. Remember, if you want to represent your club or you want your club to be involved, email us or contact me or Andy Haig directly and uh, we'll see if there's the right footage that we could do something to make it virtual but real. Nah, anyway, guys, did you enjoy it? What did you think of it? Yeah, it was mega. I it was awesome. I, I probably love that. I would do it, happily do it again. It was really, yeah, really fun. It, I know it's difficult when it's not going your way because I was shouting at the screen and I wasn't <laughs> even team manager. Like, come on, guys. And I know. I was just sat here in disbelief at points. I, I was like, come on. I, and there are people, by the way, there are people, and I'm not one of them, there are people that come up to me and say, Barry, do you remember in 2018 when uh, James Cockle came third when he should have, do you think he should have won? What did he do wrong? I say, you know, I can't remember last week. Yeah. You know, let alone... <laughs> two years ago, three years ago. So for me, watching all these races, it's great and it's live. And um, unfortunately, we were hammered tonight by the Eagles, but that's the way it goes. Um, and uh, as long as everybody left, they were entertained and we all had a good night and we all went home safely. That's what it's about. Yeah. So did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it, Grant? Obviously yeah, no, really, really fun. I'll proper go into it. I mean, I've even like wrote the heats and all sorts down. And <laughs> great. Like, I'm, I'm proper like team manager style, but yeah, I'd, I'd happily give Brendan another go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, well, we'll have to see about that. Bring okay. it on. All right, but well, thanks for your time today, guys. We all appreciate it and um, look forward to seeing you all again if the season is the Warriors next year. Warrior way. Winning way.